What's better posture? This, this, or this, or this? In this video, I'm gonna show you the number one most common postural pattern we see today, and the one exercise that will fix this posture in less than 100 seconds. Stay tuned. This one exercise might be one of the best posture exercises you've ever seen. And the reason why I'm claiming that is because it's one exercise that can fix three postural patterns in one shot. When looking at posture, you have to look at the whole, not the sum of the individual parts. Just like this video right here, where I show you where chin tucks will not fix forward head posture by themselves. Understanding there is a normal posture is very important in how we go about fixing altered postural patterns. We need to look at the pelvis, the low back, thoracic spine, and the cervical spine as a unit in order to effectively correct your poor posture patterns. The most common postural pattern we see is what we call a zigzag postural pattern. That posture where our pelvis comes forward, our thoracic spine shoots back, and then our forward head posture results in a complete collapse of our upright standing posture. The problem is we create this ourselves. We sit way too much, and when we sit, we sit with lazy posture. This over time stretches ligaments, weakens spinal stability muscles, and creates faulty neurological patterns that allow these poor postural patterns to persist. This will cause our spine to break down prematurely, causing a host of pain and other spinal-related problems. We want to avoid that at all costs. Before doing any posture exercise, it's really good to warm up your spine so you make sure that it's mobile, it's warm, so you don't injure yourself. One of the best ways to warm up your spine is with the cat-cow. So this is not the one exercise I'm gonna show you. This is the warm-up, but do this with me. One thing you wanna make sure is when you're doing the cat-cow is that you're not trying to extend and flex to the end range of motion. It's just not worth the chance that you're gonna irritate things and it doesn't make the exercise any better. So what you wanna do is you wanna just get comfortable on all fours. You wanna twist your arms and hands into the floor, almost like you're trying to screw them into the floor. Really lock out, and then you're just gonna come in and just slowly start your flexion and extension. And again, don't really force it to the end range. There's not really any upside to that. What we're trying to do here is just warm up our spine and our postural muscles so that the exercise I'm gonna show you in a few seconds is more effective. And so you wanna do three sets of about five repetitions. As, as I say, you don't need a lot, you just want to get your spine moving and the tissues ready to perform the exercise I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, we're gonna start the exercise now. This exercise is called the Titanic Posture Exercise, and you're gonna learn very quickly why that is. We do need a piece of equipment for this. The best thing to use would be a yoga block. Now, I know most people don't have a yoga block. If you want, there's a link in the description below so you can find one of these things, but you don't need this specifically. You could use a pool noodle, you could use a small couch pillow or sofa pillow, or you can use a folded towel three to four inches thick will be perfect. Whatever you have, you're gonna start the exercise with your feet off the wall, about two to three inches, and you're gonna place this in your thoracic spine, just in the middle part of your back. Today, my choice is gonna be the yoga block, just because I have one, and it's easy to hold against the wall. So what you're gonna do is take this, whatever you're using, pool noodle, towel, folded towel, small pillow, yoga block, anything that will keep your pelvis off of the wall. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse the posture. So we're gonna take our pelvis and we're gonna rotate it as far as we can. Hopefully we can get our glutes or our butt to the wall. The second part of the movement where the Titanic comes in, arms up and squeeze your shoulders and hands back against the wall. The final thing, we're gonna take our head, slightly extend and then pull it back against the wall. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. and relax. The reason why I said you can fix this in 100 seconds or less because we're gonna do 10 sets of 10 seconds. Now some of you might only be able to hold it for two or three seconds or your mobility might be such that you can only get slight extension or slight rotation in the pelvis, that's okay. Work to your tolerance and I can assure you when you do this daily, you're gonna get better and better. So let's do it again. Remember the first part is the pelvis, butt to the floor, or sorry, butt to the wall, 
Then we're gonna take our arms and squeeze our shoulders together, push our arms, hands back into the wall, and then finally, slight extension and pull our head back and hold. It's really squeezing. It's actually quite difficult to perform. Sometimes I make this look easy, but it's really difficult. And relax. You know it's difficult because you're firing so many muscles as we look at the spine as a whole, and we're trying to undo multiple faulty postural patterns at the same time in this one exercise. Start doing this daily for 10 seconds at 10 reps, and I know you're gonna notice a difference. One final tip to make this exercise more effective and your postural change to be more permanent is you have to watch how you sit. Watch this. We typically start off with really good posture, and as the day goes on, we slouch, and we shift forward, and we create the very posture we're trying to change. Sitting with good posture, we start to slouch, create this rolled back, this comes forward and our head, and that is our sitting posture. How we fix that is with support here by trying to increase the curve, everything else will follow, and so we need to have support in this lower back when we're sitting. Simply put a pillow there to help support your spine. It'll make the exercise that just shows you way more effective and your posture change way more permanent. If we have a back on our chair or we're sitting on a sofa or couch, just make sure you place that pillow to make sure that you're unable to roll forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show some support by giving a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, maybe you'll consider subscribing so you can be informed when I upload a new video. If you have a question or comment, please leave it down below. And also, if you have an idea for a future video, leave that there. I'll add it to my list and hopefully get to that video very soon as you see it on my YouTube channel. I appreciate you taking the time to tune into this video. Be sure to check out some of the other videos I have on my channel as you might find them very helpful as well. Until next time, stay well.